Alright, so we just made our actions and reducers uh, to get all of our information from our API. And there's actually one more package that we need to download, which is Redux Thunk. Uh, here is the documentation for it. Basically what this does, so what, what React, how it works, is that everything will run at the same time. Everything's moving in synchronous motion, but we don't always want our um, call to get our API information to be running. We don't want that constantly to be running. We need that to be delayed and only to happen when we click on a button. And to help us do that is we're going to download this middleware called Thunk. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're exit out of there. So npm install s see redux thunk yes cool and you can always double check that information down here right there all right great so we'll go ahead and npm start Okay, so let's go ahead and connect all of these pieces together. Go ahead and navigate to your index.js. And so uh, to make this work, we need to import a bunch of stuff. So we need to say import create store apply middleware from Redux. Okay, and then we need to say import provider with capital P from React Redux. And we need to import thunk from Redux thunk. Then we have to import our reducers from file path of reducers slash index.js. Alright, and then we head on down here and we say let store equals create store reducers and then this takes our argument of apply middleware which is thunk. Okay. And then down here at the very bottom, we have to wrap it in our provider. Cool, so that is all set up. Let's head on over to our container and we only need to connect our container um, to the store uh, because it's going to be able to pass down the logic down into our component. So to do this, we say import connect from React Redux. Then we say import all, which is star action creators from actions index.js. Spell this. Oh, sorry. It import star as action creators. I'm sorry about that. Okay, and then we also need to do a couple of stuff down here to change it. So instead of this, we say const map state to props equals state for arrow function return state. One last piece, export default 
connect map comma actions action creators let me say um, box con there we go okay cool so now we're all connected let's just double check everything looks fine cool Alright, so now we just have to pass down all of our props. So we're going to say color equals this dot props dot color. So this passes it down into our box component. And in our box component, now we get to say specifically where do we want this color to appear. So the goal is to make this box change colors when we press the button. So we're going to do a little inline styling. So we are going to say style equals, then you have to exit out of JSX and say background color. Cool, and quickly just note that um, it's not dash color like you do in regular CSS. Um, you can't use the dashes uh, because it's talking like in JavaScript. So it wouldn't know what to do, it would try and minus it. So then we're going to use an object literal to make this work. So then we say there, and then we say this dot props dot color. Okay, we'll close that up. All right, should be working. Let's refresh. Ta-da! It's red. Pretty awesome, right? Cool. So now we want to somehow get our action that's loading in the color to happen every time that we click this button. So we're going to have to pass down that too. So we're going to call this handle click equals this dot props dot load color. So this is calling the same name uh, that we made our action in our index which is load color so we're telling it uh, to get this to dial in this link here every time and I just say handle click because that is a description to what this is actually going to do you can name these keys anything that you want but it's just easy to keep it like handle click okay so let's go back into the box container and so now we get to tell it that on the button here we're going to say on click equals then we have to exit out of JSX okay and we say this dot props dot handle click then we call it oops then we exit back out. Okay, simple as that. Let's see if it works. Let it refresh. Ta-da! All right, pretty cool, huh? All right, so basically, just to recap real quick what we have accomplished today, uh, basically we learned how to call an API in React and Redux while using Axios. Pretty great. Um, hope you guys can learn something and I hope this is helpful for your other projects that you're doing.